The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those with leprosy, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts. No sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his pay. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. I feel like asking you, how many of you paid attention to the first reading? And if so, can you tell me what the main message is? <laughs> I'm not going to put you in a spot. But I love the first reading of the day. In fact, we could have even stopped with it because that is the message for the day. You know, as you study various religions and faiths, you realize that God is the other, the powerful one, the one who cannot be approached. God is inaccessible. But then it all seems to change with Judaism and eventually in Christianity, where God comes close to us. God comes seeking us out. And in the person of Jesus, God would actually come crawling on his knees to us. I'm referring to the fact that he was born as one of us. And notice how the first reading presents God as a father. Look at that tender language that he speaks about Israel, about Ephraim, and he refers to her as the firstborn. Has it ever occurred to you that you are that Israel, that Ephraim? By the way, both the names refer to the same. Uh, Ephraim is one of the sons of uh, Jacob and uh, when you say Israel, it refers to those 10 tribes or Ephraim. And so when you get some time, sit with the first reading. See how it begins. When Israel was a little child, I took him by the hand. I taught him to walk. And how come he forgets that I am her father? You know, sisters and brothers, very often we tend to think of God of the Old Testament as a violent God, 
as a kind of a mature God. Well, he's a father. That's what he needs to be. But look at the tender side of God. Later on, when you go through Isaiah, you will see, you hear those words. Can a mother forget her child? Or a woman, the babe within her womb? Yet, even if these forget, I will never forget you. That is the God that comes to us in the person of Jesus. And that is why Jesus would say, call God, not just Father, but Abba, Daddy. Because God is closer to us than we can possibly understand. And so with that, shall we all just pause for a while and listen to that first reading as Jerry proclaims it to us again. No. Thus says the Lord, when Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt, I called my son. The more I called them, the further away they went from me, sacrificing to the Baals and burning incense to idols. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords with hand, bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed, my pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again, for I am God and not man, the Holy One present among you, and I will not let the flames consume you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's pause for a while and thank the Lord for this tender love. 